Hi everyone. In this little video, I'm going to kind of tell you a little bit about what is Game Fruit. So there's a number of these block programming type tools that are coming out to help get anybody that's interested in learning how to code to code. So all of a sudden now we have Game Fruit, and it is a great environment if you're looking to get a game built quickly and have fun. So you come out here to GameFruit.com, and you're going to click on Make Games, but you could also play games. When you click on Make Games, it's going to take you into an environment here that is a little bit different looking than um, what you've seen in the past. So they offer you great starting points. And unlike Scratch or Blocky, they take you into more of a graphical look and feel starting point. So this is a starting point tutorial, and you could watch the video and read a little bit more. But I just want to point out to everybody they have some buttons up here that immediately allow you to get into play your game and in this particular case they already have a game done and they also have your script editor now over here you could see some links for the levels that you would build to make your game so if I click on game you'll see that the graphical look and feel here is really well done it looks real familiar to anybody that's ever played a 2D scroller type platform game and you can draw and add all these objects real quickly and be up and running pretty fast. Now what you really want to do is eventually get into editing scripts and you have this script editor here that starts to look more like Scratch. So here's where the block programming comes back into play. Block programming utilizes colored blocks that represent certain programming constructs or logical constructs. So as you snap them together and attach them to objects, which could be a player character or some other object in the, in the game, you'll see some kind of interactivity. So that's what's really starting to happen here. Now, nowhere in this particular version do you actually get into seeing programming code, the actual code that maybe a programmer would type. However, you're starting to see the logic. You're starting to understand sequence of events and so on and interactions and reliance on other objects. So you click Level Editor and you're back out there. So Game Fruit, you do need to look at um, some tutorials, and I prepared those out on our website so you could take a look at some starting points, which will get you where you need to go. And you can see that it's a fun way to get people interested and excited uh, real fast. I've seen some great, great um, responses from my students in my um, tutoring sessions in our camps where that they really, really enjoyed this tool, and I think you will too.